Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review, I have continued my journey through the rabbit hole of Hush figures from Mafex. This is Huntress. It's actually one of the better looking ones, I think, and we're gonna see if I still think that by the end of the review. I just don't care about the character that much, so she was sort of last on my list. I think I still have Hush himself and Joker to do, but I don't know if I'm gonna... I Okay, so when I rebought the Batman figure... Okay, we'll get into that later. <laughs> Let me not get ahead of myself. There's some really good stuff going on with this figure. Also some stuff that's not great, and we'll see how that shakes out. So let's go ahead and get it off the stand and take a closer look. All right, let's start by looking at my package. It is the same Hush packaging as all the other ones. Very average the photo is nice down here it gives you a little bit of interest it could be a little bit bigger some at the top nice window at the top standard pose on the side standard poses back here not a lot going on with this figure uh but i mean there kind of is but there also kind of isn't you're you'll see as we go all right it's fine decent packaging pretty standard let's get into the figure she stands is it too bright can i do that I think we'll leave it like that and hope it's not too bright. She stands roughly 15 and a half centimeters. That's going to make her just about six and an eighth inches. Question of the day. Did you guys buy all of these Hush figures from Mafex? Are you cherry picking? How are you handling it? So what happened for me was I wasn't going to get any of them because the Batman was okay, but not that good. And I ended up selling my Batman and then I decided, okay, I'll get another Batman and when it gets reissued, and uh, we'll see if I like it anymore. I don't. I don't like that Batman that much. I think the Mafex figures have come a long way since the Hush Batman came out, and since I don't like that Batman, I don't want any of these figures anymore. That's just the way my brain works. So let me know how you guys feel about that. I'll leave it like that. Okay, so let's get into it. Aesthetically speaking, this is the most visually interesting figure from the Hush line, I think. Um, it's done really well. There's a lot of paint work on it compared to the other ones, and it's pretty darn clean. The molded plastics look good. They probably have paint on them too, if I had to guess. But yeah, it's definitely got more going on than a lot of the other ones. It's just character design. That's a benefit for this figure, but uh, did they execute it well? I think they did well enough. If you look at the white and black, it's much cleaner than we've seen some of the other figures from Mafex. So that's all right. It's not perfect, but it's still pretty good. The face is excellent. It's one of the best faces they've done, I think. It looks really, really clean. So that's a good thing. The proportions on this figure, definitely pretty good. I think she still has excessively long and skinny legs. That's a thing Mafex did for all the ladies in this bunch. And kind of Batman too. Um, it's just, it's not as bad. It's not as noticeable with the character design, but she does have that. And then she does have this cape, which is like a spawn cape again. I know people like to defend that Batman having such a big cape. It's too big. It's too big, it's inaccurate, and it's unwieldy. And even when you pose it really well, I see people on Instagram all the time posing these figures with these crazy capes, and it's just a giant ball of cloth. Like, yeah, they posed it, but it's too much. Hers isn't anywhere near as bad, so that's a good thing. It does get a little annoying to handle, but you can do it. Hers is nowhere near as bad as that Batman's, which is like the size of a queen bedsheet. This is fine, and it's well executed, and the white stripe on the front is... Good enough. So yeah, it's it's definitely an appealing figure. It's a nice flat finish throughout. A little bit of metallic here and there, but almost none. It's one of the better ones for sure. I will go 8 out of 10 for the aesthetic. That face is really nicely done. For accessories, we have one alternate head. So you have the neutral head and then the... It could be an action pose or just an angry head with a little bit more wind going through her hair. That's really well done also for hands. Decent spread, nothing elaborate, but definitely enough. And then you get her stick. That's it. It's not a wide spread of accessories at all. So I will go for Mafex, 7 out of 10. You do get the Mafex display stand, of course, but that's... Eh, it's not it's not an impressive amount of accessories or anything particularly interesting. All right, let's get into the articulation. We'll start with the cape. It is executed well in that the wire is connected nicely. As you can see, it's holding the cape up. So you can pose this cape pretty well and it's not one of the bigger ones. So that's a good thing. It's probably one of the better capes, not counting Superman's. Um, well, I guess I said one of, so that's fine. So let's look at this part though. It gets a little clumsy. It gets a little bit clumsy around the neck. The cape material is very thick and the little moon thingies that hold it in place are fine, but it's not lined up very well, and it is a lot of material at this scale, which is just something you can't avoid too much, so that's one of the problems with soft goods. It's fine, I would say. It's not like, oh, that looks like real life. No, it looks too big, but it's okay. I, I can understand why it's like that. All right, for the head, 
You do have your usual ball pegs and things, but you also get a hard chunk of hair that comes down her back. So, that means you're not really posing her head very much other than rotation. And even then, it's quite limited. So, I think the hair needed to be soft. I don't know why these companies won't do soft, other than you have to run a separate shot of plastic. That's annoying. Um, I mean, it's a cost-saving thing for them, so it's annoying because you can't pose her head very well. The cape gets out of the way of the shoulders, and then they work like basic Mafex shoulders. Nothing too elaborate, though. Uh, and she's got the crappy situation, like I think it was Catwoman, you can't raise her arms properly. And since the cape connects the way it does, it's gonna be down here, no matter what. Getting it up over the shoulder is not really gonna happen. I mean, you can do it, but it's still gonna be there. So, the shoulders are quite limited. The cape doesn't limit them, but it gets... They're limited by the articulation, and the cape is just going to be dangling there. So be aware of that situation. You're going to have to work around it. See, like, even just in showing you, it's kind of annoying. So you have to work around it. Bicep swivel is fine. You're going to be able to rotate the arm all the way around. Just can't raise that shoulder. Double jointed elbow works all right. I don't know what they were doing with the ladies in this hush line. They have such limited articulation for no real reason. Uh, it's just better than 90. The wrists are okay. The diaphragm joint goes pretty far back, so that's good. And then going forward, it worked pretty well. It's a very nice diaphragm joint. Side to side is good, rotation is good. Down here, you get more range even. So yeah, she's got probably one of the best torsos out of all the ladies. For the hips, they feel like drop downs, are they? Yeah, they are. They don't have a ton of drop though. So going out to the side, that's pretty good. She's probably the best female out of the bunch so far. Unless something really bad shows up, I think she's gonna be the best. Kicking, she kicks really high. The drop down works just enough. So that's good. Yeah, she doesn't go back too far. Thigh swivel is actually cut right here. You can't even tell it's there. So that's good. It's right at the shorts. And then the double jointed knee. Yeah, her legs are still goofy. Like way too long down here. But oh man, they're so long and skinny. That's really weird looking. Then the ankles are acceptable, but barely. They have way too much limitation. They go down, but they don't go forward very well. Ankle rocker works. And then you get your toe hinge, which is okay. Uh, yeah, this hush line, I think, is not very good for the females. She is the best one. I'll give her articulation, um, a seven. It's fine. But I don't think that fine is enough. I don't think that fine is enough for Mafex because they charge a lot. They charge a lot for their figures, and there's some good there, but you really have to find it. So, yeah, I think just like Harley Quinn and Ivy, even though Ivy was terrible in Catwoman, it's just not quite there for me. It's the best of the bunch. I would say I still can't go higher than a seven. Limited accessories, some weird proportioning, the shoulders don't work well, you can't really pose the head. You could argue eight for this one because there's more going on. But for me as a reviewer, I have to try to be as objective as possible and I just don't think it's there for the price point. I think this Hush line, the, the star of the show is Superman. Maybe Hush and Joker, I haven't looked at those two. But the rest have left a lot to be desired. Uh, their Nightfall Batman blows the Hush Batman out of the water. So does the uh, Batman Returns or whatever. D Dark Knight Returns, that blows that one. Hush is the weakest of the Batmans at this point. So, yeah. This line, eh, I'm not sure it's for me. I like the Hush designs, but I don't like the Hush figures from Mafex that much. So, there it is. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. But that's it for me. So, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please do give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And if you haven't subscribed, you should. I have new videos just about every single day. And thousands already on the channel. So, make sure you come back for all of that. And in the meantime, keep collecting.